Welcome back to Nick Landis Comic Corner Classic Last Known Classics. This episode number 23, 30, <clears throat> 34, double shot, 22, 28. Got two more trades here. And I'm going to go straight to Bleach News after I finish doing this video. Yeah, I'm going to do Bleach and I'm going to do a uh, couple more comic corners with that one. Yeah, but now I'll do my, uh, let's see, I think I have a couple more when I do Marsh and my other thing muscles. First up we have is Sharae, Volume 1, The Search for Black Panther. This collects the first five issues of this, well, very short-lived title, because it lasts only 12 issues. The only reason this book was launched because the Black, because the Black Panther the movie. That was the only reason why. This is mostly put what Sharu is up to while Black Panther's off in space. Uh, Storm is issues as well because even though she's her ex sister in law, but she's she basically so even though she's not married to Black Panther, she still loves him. And this book is just fantastic. Even fall involving guest parent by Iron Man to help out with a black hole in Wakanda, which is so awesome. This book is just fantastic. It's a shame this book only lasts twelve issues. Uh book is written by Nick Nanita. Okafer, an arc by Leonardo Romeo. Yeah, and Oka, who is basically the general of the, well, Black Panther's bodyguard, is also the director of the Age of Wakanda later on. She's in this book too. Basically, you can think of it as just like, there's another Black Panther book without Black Panther. That's most of what this book is. And it's not one of the book of the Black Panther initiative this period of time because I already killed Killmonger already and I've done Black Panther. So this is the only one left. I give this book roughly a. Give it a good 9.5 out of 10. Next up is a weird one. By the way, we actually have um, Shara Ray where she's wearing the outfit she wore in the movie, which is awesome. All right, next up we have is Incredible Hulk Boiling Point, which collects issues of Incredible Hulk Volume 2, which is 40 to 49. Yeah, this is roughly about just a couple of trays here. Uh, Boiling Point, um, written by Bruce Jones, art by Lee Weeks, it's 40 43, and 4449 was Stuart Imnen. Uh mostly put basically we have Hulk in this first portion of the storyline where he's bald. Completely bald because he's on the run for killing a guy he didn't really kill. And Leonard uh Dr. Leonard Sampson has issues. Yep, he's in his issues. He's basically kind of helps out Bruce Banner was on the run. And then of course there's this woman who's looking for a son. He thinks he ran out of her son thanks to this guy who was actually killed early on because back because of all of the FBI and and of course they then Hulk turns back to normal by the end of the book and basically beats him and of course she just basically kills she breaks up the head of the things the child but actually is a robot and she says like and, she, and of course he has the other question how did you know but the moment he was in my arms I knew it wasn't him yep yeah. uh okay set of issues per se I'm still gonna view the rest of this one but this is actually gonna be like well, it's going to be a while. This actually is one of a couple books of the go that came out, like, basically during a period of time when I was still reading comics and stuff. I haven't really reviewed yet. This along with, with uh, Wolverine. This book, I'm going to give a 8.5 out of 10. The book is still pretty good. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much a particular view. I'm going to go ahead and watch Bleach now and then be back here for a couple more videos, basically two digital comic corners. And uh, I think I might have one more afterwards. Yes, one more. Mm-hmm. Actually, two more. Two more. Yes. So, next two, which will be after Bleach. Okay? Next video. Bye.